DJ Envy, I got my guy Caesar here. Now, it is the coldest day of the year. DJ Envy is facing severe scrutiny recently. Envy, Envy, Envy. When I tell you about creating generational wealth, that's what it is. I picked up, this is some of my rent. He owes me some more. His rent is picked up. Over an alleged scheme that appears to have been exposed. Envy, Envy, Envy. We teach people how to invest in houses. What up, y'all? It's DJ Envy. Flippin' NJ. This is Envy with confidant Caesar cutting videos for a promotion of their business. Caesar is flipping NJ is uh, my partner in right. New Jersey. He owns over 1,600 units in New Jersey and all throughout the country. Caesar and was in prison before. Caesar was in prison. Caesar wow. was locked up, and he learned how to do real estate in prison. In prison. Wow. He was like, his first thing is, why are you using your money? That's what you mean. He said, you don't use your money. You use other people's money to get these deals. And started teaching me the game of how to do it without using and using minimal money. He going to jail. <laughs> <laughs> he going to jail. Joe Button told me it was a Ponzi scheme and I was going to go to jail. <laughs> and not only that, we're going to be giving one lucky person one of these chains. Now, these chains are serious. Whoever we give this chain to. That's a crazy investment when you think about it, right? We're all about the, the, home, de the home runs, grand slams. For $100 a ticket, you have a chance of making $10,000 that day. That's Pretty right. much that's what we're, we're worth, right? Between the, the chain and, and us. That's $10,000, bro. And leaving a trail of spots for litigators. What up, y'all? It's DJ Envy. I got my guy Caesar right here. As you can see, this is the three family crib, right? We're demoing today. The popular radio personality, DJ Envy, denying any involvement in a real alleged real estate scam. Envy has not been charged, but his longtime business partner, often promoted on Envy Show with Charlemagne the God, The Breakfast Club, facing charges of swindling investors out of millions of dollars. This morning, hugely popular radio show host DJ Envy facing scrutiny. It all starts with credit, right? Over his credit. connection to a business associate who was arrested by federal agents for his involvement in an alleged real estate Ponzi scheme. Caesar Pena, charged with wire fraud, was often featured on the massively successful syndicated radio show The Breakfast Club. Envy, who says he never made any money investing in real estate in the business venture, maintains his innocence and has not cool. been charged. I've never, I've never stole anything from anybody and I'll just leave it at that. Probably a wise move. Federal agents made the move to arrest Caesar, the business partner of Envy, after investors claimed they had been swindled out of millions of dollars. How much money do I need to buy my first property, investment property? It all depends, man. One more, in what market you're in. It all depends. Tri-state area. Right now, let's say if you wanted to buy a property that's $500,000. Caesar could be seen with the famous DJ touring properties, holding seminars and conducting one-on-one -on -one discussions on The Breakfast Club to promote the business. Philip R. Selinger, the U.S. Attorney for the District of New Jersey, said Caesar defrauded investors by way of a Ponzi scheme. Selinger would put out the following statement, Pena exploited celebrity status and social media to develop a devoted following of potential victims, promising returns that were too good to be true. Pena allegedly defrauded dozens of people of millions of dollars. By way of those attending, Envy is seen arguably as the face of these seminars and spoke at length. Because I have enough investments. I don't. I don't investments. You don't own nothing. This. You don't own nothing. These inv what do you investments. Mean? You, you know sound smart to somebody dumb. After these allegations came about, Envy would defend himself, saying, Caesar, if he took money, I wasn't privy to it, nor did I even know. But I do understand how people feel if they did give him money because I gave him a lot of money that I didn't see a dollar of return. For anyone to say I was involved, that is totally not true. You know, we really want to help the community, and that's why we do so much. So that's the reason why I want him to talk. I'm like, yo, I got to get you on stage because we can help a lot of people. Right. And we've helped so many people, not just regular people, but celebrities, mm -hmm. athletes, executives. And when we do and we get the money, we got a, a bunch of people, millions of dollars. How much did you charge them, Caesar? Nothing. Right. And Something's that's not adding up then. NBC New York detailed how Caesar would conduct his business by taking a hold of a property, making it better, flipping it and offering a 30% return in just a few months. Alleged victims filed suits claiming they did not get their funds back from him. Caesar is also accused of swindling investors to buy into properties that made him 
boatloads of cash. Pena would bond out of jail at $1 million. He is not allowed to leave the state. He also pled not guilty to the charges. In addition, iHeartRadio's offices were visited by the feds. And they took equipment, which leads one to believe that all of the stuff that they took from those offices will now be reviewed and go into their investigation of this scheme. We go through and help them get their loans, help them refinance, pull money out, help them get cribs, and we charge them wow. nothing. Wow. Oh nothing. Envy's attorney, Massimo F. D'Angelo, has put out statements defending his client, claiming he is a victim, adding you could always have people that are engaged in business together, but then you have a bad apple that goes off and does something on his own without anyone else's knowledge. Meanwhile, the alleged victims are speaking out. Record producer Anthony Martini says the only reason he invested was because of his relationship with DJ Envy. He claims to have lost $1 million. Jose Santiago and his wife Jessica Ortiz claim to have lost $200,000. He says he saw the promos all over social media featuring Envy and, in his words, thought it was a legitimate business venture. 